you recently told us like where the best places were to buy land in Dallas. And we had a question about Frisco and if it's a good short-term rental investment, I was kind of curious if you could speak to the best areas that you would target if I was looking for short-term rentals. I'll answer the question that was asked and then I'll answer your embedded question. Frisco is a great area for short-term rentals. The reason is the answer to the second question. As much as some of us would like to believe, Dallas is not necessarily on anyone's top 10 list for like destination vacation cities. People come here for a lot of things. We know we have tons of awesome things here, but we're not San Diego, New York City, that kind of deal. We got a lot to offer. The things that people do come here for are sports and entertainment, concerts, major work events. Frisco is a good spot because it is near quite a few of those things. It's got the star up there with the Cowboys. It's got the Rough Riders. It's got Dallas Stars hockey activity up there. There are concert venues. It's really close to Plano and Legacy West and all those kind of things. Long term, if we're adding theme parks and things up there, with Universal Studios, I think that's just going to grow and grow and grow. So that's the that's the Frisco answer. In addition to that, there are people locally. I rented a house out for my wife's 40th birthday and they had a girls weekend and they went out to Rockwall. You know, they just got away and found a house that had enough bedrooms and a pool, right? So there's that, but that's not like a gangbusters industry as much as what is the magnet that's going to pull people in? So that's where in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we want to be aware of that. Would I do one near the stockyards? Because people come to town for a guys weekend, girls weekend, go to Billy Bob's, go dancing, do the things that Fort Worth offers. That's more realistic than any old house in any old neighborhood. That's my answer to the Frisco question and the overall question of where are these things more successful? The opposite, well, not the opposite, but geographically farther out is a pretty successful model in DFW lately. There's a house on three or four acres. There's a house on the lake. There's a house on some land and there's some things to do. You can fish, you can water ski, ride horses. You can, there's trails for mountain, you know, when you start adding those things that you can do that come with the property, then those are the things that will make that property more profitable, increase the occupancy rate and things like that. 